Moving back to phase two will affect local restaurants in a really big way. With this potential change, restaurants are definitely on edge. That's why we have Nicole Hernandez. She's live where she spoke with the manager at Longhorn Barbecue about why things are the way they are and why they're hoping to stay in phase three. Yeah, good morning, Dana Marie. So talking with Erin Everhart here at Longhorn Barbecue, she said she was definitely nervous about the decision that was going to be made today. So we do actually have a look at their hours right here, and this is why they're so nervous here, because their normal hours at, uh, here at the Spokane Valley location, they open at 11, they close at 9. But over at the Airway Heights, um, area they actually have breakfast so normally they're open at 6 30 a.m but right now they're not doing any of those breakfast hours and here at the Spokane Valley one they're closing an hour early every day now the goal is for them to get back to their regular hours from before the pandemic and Aaron says that, that sticking in phase three will help that a lot I think it's a, a, a huge setback for businesses here in Spokane and honestly around the country to get pushed backwards. Uh, we've been struggling for over a year now, um, just trying to pay our bills and keep our staff happy and make sure they're getting paid as well. And I think 50% pays the bills and 25% doesn't. Now, Aaron said at 50% capacity, Longhorn Barbecue is just breaking even. Restaurant profit margins in Washington are just between 3 and 4%. So put into perspective, for every dollar they get, they only make 3 or 4 cents. That's why reduced capacity hurts restaurants so much. Aaron said she hopes that people still come in even if we do jump back to phase two. She said the restaurant is actually a very safe place to be with employees sanitizing constantly. Supporting your favorite local restaurants at this point makes all the difference to keep them afloat. Now, based on the numbers that we are seeing that the Spokane Regional Health District has reported, it does look like Spokane County will have to move back to phase two. But of course, we do have local leaders here pushing for us to stay in phase three despite those numbers. But either way, the people working at Longhorn Barbecue here behind me are nervous for this decision today. Live in Spokane, I'm Nicole Hernandez.